Hey everyone, I can't believe it, but this is our last session for the Power of a Praying Wife online study. And we have gone through this book for the past four and a half months, just chapter by chapter. And I think what it's done for me is remind me that prayer needs to be my first response and not my last resort. And if we allow prayer to be our starting point, then we really are just giving the Holy Spirit the opportunity to direct our thoughts, to direct our emotions and the things that we say and really give him control over the whole situation. You know, but before we jump into these last two chapters, I wanted to let you know that this online study is really just one aspect of what our group Whispers and Fridges does. We actually have a Facebook page that I'd love for you to check out. And every day our leaders are posting things in hopes of really just empowering women Sometimes it's an encouraging devotional, or maybe it's a song that you might want to add to your playlist or a recipe. It's really just stuff that us girls enjoy, and hopefully it's something that will also just encourage you and inspire you. In addition to that, we've got a, a, a website coming up in the next couple of months that I'm really excited about, so um, be on the lookout for that. Last but not least, if you live in the Dallas area, we actually have a monthly Bible study that we would love for you to be a part of. So again, reach out to us on Facebook and we'd be happy to give you more details about that. Okay, now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, um, I want to tell you that I have honestly been looking forward to this particular video since I did my first video for this study. And the reason is because you get to finally put a face to the name. Um, and here he is, <laughs> the guy that you've been hearing about through all the sessions. This is my husband, Lance. What's okay. going on, guys? <laughs> So I thought it'd be good to bring him in um, just to get kind of a guy's point of view, especially on these last two topics. I think Stormy really might have saved the best for last. So chapter 29 covers his faith. And our pastor, Mike Hayes, says this, that the two most important decisions that you will ever make in your life are who you serve, so basically who you put your faith in, and secondly, who you marry. And as believers, we understand the importance of our faith when it comes to really our, our eternity. And Stormy talks about this, and she said, Our faith determines what happens to us after we leave this world. If you have faith in Jesus, you know that your eternal future is secure. But we also recognize that our faith really should impact really every single day of our lives here on earth as well. So here are some great things that Stormy encourages us to pray for. She says, God put a longing in his heart to talk with you and hear your voice. May he seek you, rely totally upon you, be led by you, put you first, and acknowledge you in everything he does. And I pray that he will live the kind of faith-filled life that you have called us to experience. So amen to all of that. So babe, I'd love to hear from you and get a guy's perspective on what are some ways that wives can encourage their husbands in regards to their faith? Um, I would say one of the things that is key is, is the word that you mentioned in your question. Okay. It's, it's encouraging. Okay. And um, I think it's really important to understand that um, and if you have the ability to prioritize mm -hmm. the fact that you are encouraging somebody or your spouse in their faith, mm -hmm. um, it really helps move things along because faith to a guy is, is a really sensitive subject yeah. because a guy wants to be trusted, you know, and yeah. there's a sensitivity to that similar to what women probably feel about weight. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, so understanding that, mm -hmm. um, it gives a, a great sense of, of, of empowerment and support yeah. when you're actually encouraging instead of maybe and coming across as admonishing, yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. if we know that we want to be, or we want to encourage, then it changes our approach. It changes right. the words we use, right. sometimes the timing that right. we use, um, and, and just the general feeling that we want to project yeah. on, on, I guess, your husband yeah. in this yeah. case. Okay, that's good. Yeah. See, it's good hearing from a guy's point of view, right? So, thank you for that. Um, okay, so chapter 30, which is our final chapter, talks about his future. So babe, again, men and women are so different and I would think it would be different even in regards to what they think about when you hear the word future. So again, coming from a guy's perspective, what do you think about? Yeah, I think for a guy, um, 
when we think about our future, the, the primary thing that comes to mind is being able to provide yeah. and um, leaving my mark. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I want to be able to do both of those mm-hmm. things for the people that I care about mm-hmm. the most mm-hmm. um, and for myself. Mm-hmm. You know, so when I think about my future, those are the serious things. And then I think about fun things. Yeah. I think about what car I'm going to drive, where we would go travel, course, what kind of car I'm going to drive and then yeah. stuff like that. You mentioned that. the car. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And then what, what cars I'm going to drive. Okay, so that's good to know. That's just kind of good to know, again, how a guy thinks about it so we kind of know better how to pray about it. Um, And again, in regards to your future, I was kind of thinking that sometimes, you know, just maybe the way that I'm wired as a woman and just even in my own personality, how I can let my fears maybe impact how you see the future and how what your plans are for the future. So again, I'd love to know what are some ways that wives can encourage their husbands in regards to their future? Yeah, I, I think the best way, if, if, if we had to distill it down to one thing, yeah. is to understand the place that you have mm-hmm. in impacting how he thinks about the future. Yeah. Because you're the one that's most closely tied right. to his future. Right. So um, understanding that, you may not think you do, but you carry a lot of weight yeah. in terms of how confident he is about his future. Yeah. Um, and w- if he feels like he's being supported mm-hmm. and that, that has a lot to do with his strength. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the things that you say, the mm-hmm. things that you don't say, mm-hmm. how you say them yeah. and, um, using wisdom in those things, right. um, I think can be a, a really powerful thing when it comes to how a guy views his future. Yeah. He can be as great as strength or as big as weakness. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Wow. And I, I was just kind of thinking, if you think about it, our future just isn't about 10 or 20 years from now, really, it's really the next second and then the second after that. And Stormy reminds us, ladies, that when we are seeking God's leading for our future, that we need to seek Him for every step. And if you think about it, um, each step can either take us closer to our destiny or further away from it. So it's again, it's important that we are praying for the steps um, that our husbands are taking And ladies, you may think that what you're saying or what you're doing or all these prayers maybe that you've been praying for the past four and a half months, maybe you don't think that they're doing doing anything, but if you just think about what Lance just said, it really is making an impact because one step at a time, if you think about it, your marriage, your husband, and you are becoming what God intended it. And so as we wrap up this study, you know, I was just thinking that Lance and I want to just say a prayer for you. And this is something actually that my dad um, had encouraged us to do. And I thought it was such a great idea. And I'd love to end off our study this way. So Lance is going to say a prayer for the husbands. And I'm going to say a prayer for you as wives. So babe, you want to go ahead and do that and pray for the husbands? Lord Jesus, um, we are so grateful for the the chance that we get to study your word and and really put um, the things that we learn into action. And so... Um, I pray, God, that as um, the women who have been following this study and learning and growing, um, put things to work and put things to use and apply themselves, God, that their husbands would be able to recognize that and see it mm-hmm. and that it would produce a chain reaction of um, of change yes. and, and change for the better and that yes. it would be uh, something that's recognized around them. In yes. your name we pray. Amen. Lord, and Lord, I just pray for the wives, for all these things that we've been praying about and talking about God, I pray that you would give us the grace, God, and the ability to be able to to carry it out, Lord, in word and in deed. And most of all, God, may we always remember, God, that you are our source, God, that you are the one that we want to come to first. And thank you, God, that you are sovereign and that you are in control, God. And we thank you, God, that you can always be trusted. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. So um, congratulations, ladies. You have just completed the Power of a Praying Wife online book study. Cool. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. So um, I just want to acknowledge a few people, if I could, my little vote of thanks, if you want to call it that. Um, First of all, I want to thank my husband, Lance, um, for really letting me share our business for the past four and a half months. Wait, what? (laughs) He's watched the videos. Um, And really, he just makes my life better. So thanks, babe. I um, also want to thank my parents. Um, you know, they don't have to watch these videos, but they did, and they would watch them and share them and encourage me. And also, there's a group of ladies who are really just actively participating in the study. My sister, Benu, Joyce, my friends, Joyce, Renee, Lena, and my new friend, Jessly. So, ladies, I want to tell you that your feedback and your support, really, for these past four and a half months have really just been the fuel that has just kind of kept me going. So, um, I just appreciate that so much. 
And again, to all of you ladies who have been a part of this, you've been reading the book or you've been watching the videos, I really pray that these videos have just encouraged you on your journey as a praying wife. God bless you.